It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. What's the process like? How do you, how do you match that business nerd with that VA? What is that? You know, how, how are you mat? Now, now I'm interested. I met my wife on match.com. I'm all about matching people up. I'm the, I'm the product of people being matched up. Um, so I, it's not that I don't trust the process, but I'm curious, what does that look like in your business model? How do you go about matching people up? And is it different for different types of roles that they're in? What does that look like? It is different for different types of roles. Um, so one is the skills that we're looking for. Um, so especially if it's a skill-based one, are they proficient? Do they have the right certifications, experience, and everything for that skill set? Then, and especially, uh, so if they're an office manager, if they're in the home service business, are they going to be speaking to clients? Is that their role? Then we need them to have been trained, their voice to be trained, to sound like they're answering the phone in the U.S., have great conversational English and great sales skills, be able, able to be coachable on scripts. I, I'm a, I have a follow-up question I'm going to hit you with, but I was blown away when, when Melody was on last week. She had her VA kind of like run slides with us, and I swear to God, her VA spoke better English than Melody and I did. Yeah, they, they're wonderful. It was crazy. It's crazy. Then, especially with the executive partner to an entrepreneur, and then these things go into the factor of anybody else, but personality matches in there, and then what I call pace of play. Mm -hmm. So that factors in two things, and it is the most crucial thing in placing in, an executive partner. They need to operate and understand your pace of work. So, so often, especially visionary entrepreneurs, have an insane sense of new ideas and sense of urgency. And your partner needs to understand that, right? Like. Every day, I have 10 new ideas in the morning that are absolutely urgent. And mm -hmm. I think replace yesterday's urgent ideas because they should already be done. <laughs> and so they need- That's like they a need, true entrepreneur. They need to be able to work with that, you know? Yeah. They need to be able to understand and not shut down when I say in the middle of the day, oh my gosh, you need to do execute every possible thing that we're changing the name of our business today. Yeah, I want it done by the end of the day. Perfect. Um, so that's yeah, why wait, we, are, we decided let's go. Yeah. Then it is different matching a visionary versus an integrator. Much different. Oh, they take yeah. two completely different types of executive assistant, executive partners. Yeah. A visionary communicates ideas. So I communicate an idea. I say, we are going to change the name of the business. Yes. That's me. Vote. Okay. Vote. Yeah. Yeah, so I communicate an idea. We're going to change the name of the business. She needs to problem solve. I'm not going to tell her where all it needs changed. I need her to just figure that out. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you details of a process. It's the definition of Steve Jobs quote of, I hire smart people so I don't have to tell them what to do. That's that EA. Oh, yeah. Figure it out. I am not going to explain how to do it or explain the steps. I just I'm gonna, want. I'm going to delegate the result, but not the process. Yep. And then an integrator delegates the process. Here's mm. the details. I've clearly written the process that I want you to follow, and I want you to follow my process. You That's funny because usually what I would delegate is like, hey, here's the thing. Can you build a process for it? That would be what I would delegate is like, I don't know how to build a process. I know that this needs to be the end result. Go figure out how we like what order of steps need to be done to get that thing to do the thing. Exactly. I, here's what I want to have. Here's here's like what it starts as and here's what I want to have it be when it's done. What hap what, what needs to happen in between? Here's some things I've done to get it there. Knock yourself out. Build a process. Yeah. Hashtag. So that's really important and the biggest reason that when people find one on their own that it's not a match and people are frustrated. Is totally not matching that, that um, tolerance for sense of urgency and the visionary versus integrator. Interesting. Interesting. So I need to know when people get one. So here's an often, again, mistake. An entrepreneur, the business owner, the CEO comes to me and wants to hire virtual team members. They might want to hire several virtual team members. They, in the, I need to do the digging to find out who that person is going to directly report to because that's the, that's the match I need to make. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not matching to the, so this just happened with some people we know. And I, and there was a change and he's like, no, actually this person's going to be in charge. I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's a completely that different. Totally changes. Thing. That totally changes the person we're looking for. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. What's the, what's, is there a limit to how many VAs, uh, team members somebody should have? Or what's the, what's the limit? What's the boundaries? What's the, what, what have you seen as the norm? What, what's the expectation? It depends on the business. I mean, a lot of times someone has one executive partner, if they grow and decide, you know, for them personally that they want different things like social media, growing content, whatever, then different people work under that um, executive assistant. If it's in an office, again, there's one admin and as the office grows more admins, for role specific ones, I mean, we have companies that have, you know, 10, 12 people that, because they can all be outsourced. They can all be web developers that are outsourced. Mm -hmm. They can all be CPAs that have CPA certifications. And as that accounting firm grows, they're just getting more certified CPAs, replacing yeah. team members with that. So it kind of depends on on the roll. Hey, what's up, business nerd? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a heck of a lot watching that episode. Do me a favor, subscribe right down here. And if you really like what you saw, you got more goods right here. Check out this one or check out this one and do this. Go subscribe. Appreciate you. Work smarter, work harder. Go earn yourself some pride. Catch you on the next one.